And we can take a moment, uh, Joshua. This is fine. We're not in a rush, okay? Yeah, we need a moment. In the murder trial watched by millions, Joshua Brown, one of the few, able to describe the moments before Amber Geiger shot and killed their neighbor, Botham John. How soon after the voices did you hear the sounds of gunshots? Right after. Right after? Right after. It was right after. quick? Quick. That scene in the courtroom making this scene Friday night even more tragic and suspicious. Police scouring a second Dallas apartment complex after someone shot Brown multiple times and drove off. Witnesses reported a silver sedan speeding out of a parking lot. Soon after, in a nearby hospital, Joshua Brown was pronounced dead. The shooting in the Atera apartments six miles from where Brown lived last year when he heard the fatal gunshots fired by the former Dallas officer killing both him John. When Brown took the stand just last week, his testimony was credited in Geiger's conviction. Do you recall uh, ever hearing someone say, hey, put your hands up at a loud tone? No, no, ma'am. Or show me your hands? No, ma'am. Upon hearing of his death, the Dallas County prosecutor wrote, he bravely came forward to testify when others wouldn't, adding, if we had more people like him, we would have a better world. As questions swirl about the motive in Brown's death, the attorney representing John's family calling for action, tweeting today, I just spoke with Joshua Brown's mother. She is devastated. We need answers. Tonight, police say there are no suspects in Brown's death and the investigation is ongoing, leaving a new family calling for justice in Dallas. Morgan Chesky, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.